Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Cobra. Welcome to a slightly off the cuff video. This wasn't really planned, but I just felt like recording today. So we're gonna do something pretty simple and address a problem that Sublime Text 3 has developed where it doesn't utilize Python 3.9 by default. And by the time you're watching this video, this may be fixed, you might not need this, but in case you do encounter this problem, I'll just leave the video on the channel because I know I did and this is the solution that I had to do to fix it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go into our package control. You can do this in two ways. You can go preferences and then package control. Or if you prefer to just do everything for the command palette via keyboard, you could do control, shift, and then hit P, and then just type pack and you'll get to all, the, all of the package control things. Uh, the option you need in the end is package control install package, which we're gonna hit there and it will give you another prompt. And we need to install package resource viewer. So it needs to look exactly like this. And hit enter, you see in the bottom left, briefly it's gone now, but it said it had finished installing. Of course, Sublime, there's no pop-up menus or anything like that. So that is installed, and we now need to utilize it to actually change our Python version. So we hit Control Shift P again to get into the command palette. And then we do uh, package, I think we could just do PRV actually, it'll work. Yeah, there we go. Uh, package resource viewer, open resource. And then uh, type in Python, and then type in Python again. And you should get this one called python.sublime build. We need to open that, hit escape just to close the command palette. And you'll be met with this rather nice looking file here. All we really need to do if you're a Windows is just change it from Python to Py. For some reason, at least in my installation, I'll actually show you this if you go into the terminal. If you type in Python, it comes up as Python 3.8.6. So if you type in Py, it comes up as 3.9.0. I'm not actually sure what causes this, perhaps 3.9.0 removed the Python launcher and just replaced it with the Py launcher instead. But Sublime is configured to use the Python command and not the Py command, meaning it'll only ever run 3.8.6 and not or the latest version of Python, I, I suppose it isn't 3.9, instead of 3.9, which is the one you want. <clears throat> so this will change it to 3.9. Of course you do have the other standard options, so you can do uh, dash 3.9 or 3.8 or 3.7 to select a specific version. If you're on Linux, you'd probably have to do Python 3.9 like that or 8. Point, or, or 7, etc. And just change it every new version. If there is a way to get this Py launcher on Linux, I don't know about it. Someone let me know because that would be really useful. But um, that should be pretty much it for whatever I see on. I would just recommend leaving a Py on Windows because it will automatically select the latest version of Python you have installed for you and it will just work fine. So yeah, that's a really simple fix to just kind of a really annoying problem. I imagine Sublime will probably patch this in a future version, but it might be useful to you to have this controlled to be able to select a specific Python version in Sublime. So there's no real easy way of doing it. But yeah, if you have any questions about what you saw, then feel free to leave them down in the comments. Or you can join the Discord server using the link in the description. While you're down there, I have all my socials. So I have my Twitter, Facebook, library, etc. And I also have my new Twitch channel that I am uh, streaming on semi-regularly. need to get more in a schedule for that, but I'm sure I'll do that in the near future. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, then say hello down below. If you really liked it, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And if you really, really liked it, consider supporting me on Patreon. Of course, you don't have to, but a really cool thing of you to do. With that in mind, I'd like to thank my awesome patrons for their support. And I'll see you next time, probably for the next installment of the How to Python series, whichever one that will be when this uh, video goes up. So I'll see you for that.